Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Naked Bars. Uh, this is the Naked Fancy Mix. It has four different flavors in it. Uh, carrot cake, lemon drizzle, bakewell tart, and blueberry muffin. I have the one lone peanut butter. Peanut, I'm oh, sorry, peanut delight. Peanut delight. The peanut delight was 95p at Boots. And this mix was two pounds 49 at Waitrose. And I think it's really cool that they make a, like uh, a sample. Uh, yeah, because they need to do that more often here. A lot mm -hmm. of companies, um, it, it, like even like Nutrigrain bars, I mean, it would be nice to have a, a mixed box. Mm -hmm. and, and I haven't seen one around here. So maybe if you buy them at Sam's Club or Costco no, or something. I bet you just get a really big box of the same the thing. Way <laughs> okay, so this is the, it's called the Fancy Mix. Um, it's 100% natural ingredients, no sugar, added sugar, wheat, dairy, and gluten-free. Um, they, see, they say different things on them, so I'm just going to take them out of here. Okay. They also sell these in singles, so if, if you find a flavor in here that you don't like, you can always buy the single. Um, Bakewell. Why don't we try the Bakewell tart first? And then the blueberry. Bakewell tart is a, a raw fruit and nut bar, it says. Do you want to try the peanut last since it was supper, or do you care if it's mixed? I don't care if it's mixed in. So I would try that next. This has 49% dates, 35% cashews, and 16% raisins. So mostly dates. Or a yes. lot of dates. It is... Which is pretty typical. 100... It looks like 137 calories. I wonder if there's an easier way to see that on the front without me having to... No. Okay, that's okay. And it looks like a date bar. Yeah. Yeah, that dark is the, color. It's about the same size as a Twix bar. Yeah. It's it the same shape and everything. It's slightly wider, but that's about it. I the texture. It's good and soft. Bake I well. wonder. I can get bake well a little bit out of that. I know. That's date. My question was going to be... I wonder how they came up with the name Bakewell Tart when they use dates, cashews, and raisins. Mm. Why I call that Bakewell Tart? I don't know. It does remind you that you do have that almond cherry kind of flavor. I know, and I, but I don't know where that comes from. It, um, it's mainly dates though. Yeah, yeah, a good majority of that. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's good though. I yeah, like it. yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It just, um, if I were to have that and you didn't tell me the name of it, I would never in a million years no, say Bakewell Tart. I might say, no, there's a little cherry flavor in there, but that's it. Yeah, I, I don't, it wouldn't remind me of Bakewell Tart. Okay, so this is called Peanut Delight, Raw Fruit and Peanut Bar. It is 149 calories. That's a lot for what you get. I mean, they're tiny. It's tiny there. Hmm. Where you want to read what was in there, I'm sorry. Different texture. Yeah, it's a little drier. I like it better though. Might be a little better. Really? Mm -hmm. I've never liked that raw or just plain, plain peanut flavor. Yeah, see, I do. Like I a love boiled it. peanut with no salt, no anything, just peanut. Oh. Yeah, but it has the peanut, but it also has the date with it, too. Yeah. And I like the flavor of the peanut it's more than I like the flavor of those um, cashews. Mm -mm. I, like, I like the big one. The, so, the peanut delight's definitely good for me. Uh, blueberry muffin, and you do get a strong peanut flavor in that. Oh, yeah. It's just a raw peanut. This one is only 130 calories. Blueberry. And I will get it open. These are uh, pretty much, they all are going to look the same when we get them out on the plate. Yeah. So, different tone, different uh, looking brown. <laughs> hey, what you got? Nose full of blueberries. Mm hmm. Mm. 
Station. Bar Farm. This farm. The peanut one. The peanut bar, you got 53% dates and 46% peanuts. This one, you get 58% dates, 15% cashews, 15% raisins, 10% almonds, and 2% blueberries. To only have 2% blueberries, mm -hmm. that's delicious. Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor. I like that one the best. It is, yes, this is the best one so far. It is, the blueberry is so strong that it overpowers everything else in it. But I mean, that's a good thing yeah, for me because I really like it. Yeah, that, that is exactly what you want. That is my favorite so far. Protein? 13? I haven't been looking at protein. 13.6. Uh, 13. Grams? No. No. Uh, yeah, uh, 4.8. Four, okay, that makes more sense. So four in the peanut one. This one is the one I'm scared of. You want this, that one or the lemon? No, one? we'll do the lemon last. That's what I thought. I'm scared of this one because it, it says carrot cake, but you never know. Well, let's try to get the spices in there. It is um, 148 calories. So a little higher. Maybe it's got carrots in it. I always knew there was a reason you shouldn't eat carrots. So high on a calorie. Now, Andrew could not eat this one. Walnuts? Mm-hmm. No, it makes sense. Carrot cake usually does have walnuts. Mm -hmm. It has 48% dates, 20% walnuts, which you can taste. They make a oh, difference. 14% yeah. um, raisins, 10% almonds, 5% cashews, 3% carrots, mm -hmm. and um, a hint of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I think that... I mean, you wouldn't necessarily say, ooh, that's carrot cake. But no one is saying it's carrot cake. I do get the carrot cake out. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can see where they're going with it. And you get the walnuts. and, mm -hmm. and I can you get that carrot, the texture and, and the taste of the carrots. And the up. cinnamon's not, uh, it's not really strong. No, it's a really nice spot. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like that one. I don't, I don't love it, but I like it. I have a walnut in my teeth, though. Well, get it out because you're going to try something else. This is, I didn't Even mean fruit. in front of it, God and everybody. <laughs> I got it. It was literally right in my front too. And this is the lemon drizzle. It's 133 calories. Hey, if nobody, if somebody out there has never gotten something out of their teeth. I know, I give know, me a I know, I know. Let them throw the first stone. <laughs> I call them a drizzle. I should have put a drizzle on it. I love that. It tastes like a lemon cake. Mm -hmm. um, Which I guess is what we're going for. This is 53% dates, 19% raisins, 11% almonds, 10% coconut, mm -hmm. 6% cashews, and guess how much lemon? One, man. Yeah. Makes sense. Lemon's so strong. You know what? It is so strong, you would never believe. Just like with the blueberry, you wouldn't believe the 2%. You wouldn't believe that's 1%. Mm -hmm. um, I like all these. I think that is a very good lemon. Uh, it does remind you of, of, of a lemon cake mm -hmm. flavor. Uh, they did a very good job with that. Yeah, I think they did a good job with all of them. I agree. The only one I didn't like is probably one you like is the peanut one. I really didn't care for it. My very favorite is the blueberry. Mine too. Um, and, and like I said, I've seen these in singles, so you don't have to buy the box. If you found one you didn't care for, you, you know, um, my very favorite is the blueberry. And then I'll say the peanut and then the lemon and then the Bakewell tart and then the carrot. Yeah. My peanut would be the last, but, the, but I would buy that blueberry. The blueberry the is really good. Blueberry. I actually like the Bakewell tart better than the. The you know, the things. Bakewell tart, it just, it's... I like the little cherry flavor. Yeah, it's hard to replicate the a Bakewell tart. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you know, it just, it doesn't have, I don't know. Yeah, I don't just, know why they didn't actually put cherry in there or, um, I know, or it just, almonds in there. Yeah. So, but, but that's the that's the furthest one from what they say it is, but I yes. still think it's a really good flavor. Yes. It's just not what they say it is, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, but I like these. They're if you've all, never tried them, I, I, we're trying. Yeah, I would definitely, uh, definitely try them out. I'll have a picture for you at the end. They all kind of look the exact same, but I'll have that picture for you anyway. And thanks for watching.